Gene. So you, you would think, being a poet, that I have a firmer grip on the alphabet. But the next reader is Gene Bengals. <laughs>
Not to mention that I know where wits of kissers go when kissers get to kissing. I abide at all this biding and insufferable thresholds. And the only war wounds I received were self-inflicted wounds of love. This cloven nose from closing doors and chronic PTSD. Your heart's moved by my stigma, but not broken. You're summoned to my ottoman. Your eye was warned that leisure triggers love, and so went hunting to evade uncanny arrows. I ordered bridled bulls to bow beneath unwieldy collars and drank bitter juices under stupid udders. I chafed inside of duck suits and then surfaced from that nowhere, just like I drew down and allergies at cells. Before my love had time for blushing, I thought how Ovid changed his tune to be content with feeding figs to pretty girls in injured verse and epic kitchens. I do not hurl invectives at the lintel of the DOD or butter up its hinges or get plaudatory cosseting its knocker. It's not the door's fault that my love has used the door to bar its entrance or my heart clove with my nose when lovers slammed it. I made my way for love through flocks of jalabas and togas, drowning habits not conducive to love spirit, then dismounted with these feathers swelling from it to extend my tender heart. But the DOD refused to swap a purple heart for one that had been penetrated. You wouldn't taunt a camel who's on crutches with a cloven hoof, but you'd pick on one made sensitive by entrance. Time and terms of tune do sometimes sour tender grapes. So Ovid set his teeth on edge like Latin damsels and their fathers. Did my love commence at boot camp or the choppy flight or headlamps where I witnessed birds in cross examinations? Its foot was on my passive neck. I guzzled up the stuff of it in gullet folds. I tickled till it trickled down my chin and till it tickled in my hinder parts and hindered hinges on the door 